hello everyone thanks for watching this video in this video today we are going to understand how to reverse an integer array okay so we will be getting this integer array as a user input and that we are going to reverse it okay yeah so let's have one main method where we are going to prepare our user input so this is something like that okay integer type array user input equal to this one okay now we are going to create one api which is responsible to reverse get r e v e r s e get reverse here we are going to pass the our array as a argument and we have to create the method with the same signature here okay now let's assign this value into the our local variable okay as we understand we can print this for loop without with, we can we can print this array without for loop also so for that we having one class called arrays in util here we have the two string and you have to pass the input your actual array if you print it you will get the same here 10 46 47 okay we are receiving the same data here so this is the one other way to print your array okay now let's have one for loop so here i equal to input of length we will start from reverse okay i is greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus so we will be creating one array of integer type reverse equal to new int of the length same as provided by user okay here what we will do and we will be creating one variable k equal to 0 which will help me to for k reverse so what we will do is earlier we will put the value into the k what is the value which is coming from the input i and then next we will increase the k to the next index okay so, so what we did is we just started one loop which is which will take element from last of the array length minus 1 till 0 it will reverse order it will start iterating this input array and what i am doing the next step is as soon as i am getting receiving the value i just assign this value into the kth index of the reversed array and the kth index start from 0 as soon as it got assigned the kth value will increase with the 1 okay now let's check whether we received value or not so we are receiving value here into the kth if you run this one you got to know 95 is the last here is the first 55 here second we are receiving the correct value right so let's have one log before reverse okay and then same as after reverse
right click run as your application before reverse after reverse okay so this is the output we are expecting here this is same as what we are expecting yeah thanks for watching this video